Hello everyone, so summer is officially here and I thought it'd be fun for me to share some of my cutest moments from spring and some recommendations as well. So let's get into it. So for the first thing that I want to mention was the medieval bazaar that was uh, near Acropoli, I think, like closer towards the sea and Acropoli. I don't know the exact location, but I'll write it here and it was really nice. Okay, for the second one, it is Comic Den. I go nearly every year. I try to go at least one day out of the three. It was really cute and I enjoyed it. I think it's one of the least events that don't have an entry, uh, an entry fee to get in, which is really nice because I think that it's a cute experience to be able to be in a space where you feel like you belong and you have your favorite fandoms and you have your favorite shows there and you can find different artists and get in inspired or buy their art just because you want to have stickers and cute posters. So overall, it was a nice experience. I went with my brother and my friends and, you know, I wish I had done a cosplay because it's, it's a long time since I wanted to do a cosplay, but, um, you know, it is what it is. The heat was a little bit difficult for me to like cope with parts of the event because they were outside in Technopolis, but other than that, it was really nice and I had a great time. Last but not least is the Athens Digital Arts Festival. Uh, it was a two-part event which was uh, two sides of the road. The one part of the event was a theatrical part of an uncanny valley effect. Um, I'm not gonna say a lot, I'm just gonna show you some clips from that event. It was a very unusual experience and it kind of made me question what if I am the uncanny valley in different situations and everything is into perspective? But to be honest, I am not so scared of robots and uncanny valley, but like mostly um, things that are like creature-like or like animals that are very non-human but human-like at the same time. These type of things creep me out or images that look like a human but aren't. Robots don't really scare me to that point. So maybe it didn't have such an effect on me, but the theatrical part was an actual robot responding and sharing his own experience and his creator's experience, which was really nice. And then the second part of the event was the exhibition. wristband for the theater uh, could get into the art exhibition altogether so it was it was worth it um, and the art exhibition was amazing there were three floors and each floor was unique on its own but there were a lot of different you know artists and the way that they created things uh, and the way that they wanted you to experience them was amazing So before the video ends, I would like to share with you two recommendations of series. The first one is Bridgerton. If you haven't watched Bridgerton, you should definitely watch Bridgerton. It's amazing. I didn't like the first season as much as the second and the third part, third season part one. But overall, I really like the way that it's, you know, um, being so creative and inclusive and showing different cultures and blending everything in into that kind of time 
and it's just amazing. And for the other recommendation is the Fallout game has a series and I really enjoy watching the series. It's kind of making me question if I should play the game, which, you know, I don't know if I would be good at, but it would be a challenge, I think. Uh, this series is really nice. I feel like it's very close to our reality, but at the same time very far away. Um, there's a lot of symbolism that you can find relate to, to our time and to our experience as humans. But um, it's super scary thinking about the possibility of anything like that to happen to us. And if something like that doesn't happen, something similar will. I don't know. That's how I feel. I might be a pessimist in that way, but I feel like, you know, deeper meanings of uh, any sort of game or movie or series kind of reflect the thought, just the thought of that creator being like, what if that could be a possibility. So yeah, I would recommend both series. And um, my music recommendations for you are Blades by Arlo Sparks, You and Me by Far West, and Bittersweet by Sabrina Sterling. Um, I don't know, they're giving different vibes, but I hope you enjoy if you listen to them. I hope you enjoy, they're really cool. Thank you for watching. Um, you know, stay tuned. I am gonna be uploading more and more often. Hopefully I don't burn out and I'll see you on the next one.